<laughs> what you doing, girl? All right, what's going on, everybody? Tuesday morning. We're at 10.36 a.m. I just got done shipping yesterday's stuff. Got some more new arrivals. Um, even, uh, so throughout the day yesterday on eBay, I kept getting servers down. It's not you, it's us. And then I was also on this at the same time getting the other error statement that I had gotten the day before, or a couple days before. Uh, when I would search an item on eBay, it would say the user ID you're looking for can't be found or something like that, which is weird because I wasn't looking for a user ID. So, um, so overnight, there was an eight hour period where only two items sold. Only two items sold came through. So I'm guessing they probably had the site down working on it again, would be my uneducated guess. But, uh, yeah, what can you do? All right, let's get into these new arrivals then. So we only got about 22 items orders to pull so we've got dun, 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 the dukes of hazard soundtrack sold for eight dollars then we got are you ready for a headlight yeah all right we got two hats that sold uh together they sold for 22.38 so we got breckenridge colorado and we got texas longhorns Similar in color. Doo -doo. All right, next up we have these Reebok Zigs. Yeah, Zig Tech. These sold for $16. And then we've got Grandpa's Lucky Fishing Hat. hat. This sold for $7.50. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday! The monster truck is travel. Oh no, it's James River Church hat. <laughs> this sold for seven dollars. <laughs> All right, let's see how hard and or easy will finding this hat be. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. There's what I'm looking for. All right, we got Metal Brook hat. This hat sold for seven dollars. What you doing, Bubba Girl? What you doing, Bubba Girl? Stretchums. <laughs> I need your light, baby. You want to help me look for a piece of vinyl? Well, that was easy. Oscar Peterson, the George Gershwin songbook on vinyl sold for $11. We got Santana cassette, and this sold for $5.50. We look in We're looking for a little Art Garfunkel breakaway cassette sold for $6. Yes, thirty-six. We looking for Sawyer Brown. Whoops, on an E thirty-six. Duh, James. Learn your letters. Sawyer Brown greatest hits. This is a record club version. Sold for five fifty. All right, we got Craig Mack. Get down on cassette single. Sold for five fifty. Are you ready for a cassette lot lot? Cassette lot lot. All right, we got two cassette lots together. Sold for $46. All right, we got some Night KD's Thunder Away colorway. I remember when these came out, the KD uh, sixes. Wasn't really a fan of them myself. I had a couple of pairs, but I think they came out in around 2013 was the year they were released. But these sold for $16. All right, looking for 85, 826. 85, 826. 85, 826. 85, 826. Did I miss it or is it on the spine? 85, 826. There we 
we go. 85, 8, 2, 6. All right, 20 cassettes so far. $27. <laughs> All right, we're looking for this tote. And we're looking for a Backstoppers hat. And it sold for $11. I like it when it's easy. Did I disturb you? Did I disturb my poopies? All right, so Backstoppers hat, $11. Car Talk Classic. CD. Oh, that might be kind of cool to do. All right, this sold for $10. Idea. Can you, is there a program for your phone where you could do live on YouTube and it could use utilize both cameras, the front and the back, and you do like a car talk show podcast while you're driving. The person can either watch you talk while you're driving or watch where you're going, but still hear what's being said. Ooh, I like that idea. Oh, you think it's belly rub times? You think it's belly rub times? He's like, oh, don't forget me. <laughs> All right, I get you too. I get you too. <laughs> All right, we're going to Z33. That should be my falling over area. It's going to fall, man. It's going to fall soon. It's going to fall on me and trap me. But it'll be on video, so it'll be funny. So that'll be all right. That'll make good content, James. Good YouTube content. All right, we got these Revolution Nikes. And I've figured out what they sold for now. $20. That's what it was, yes. So these sold for $20. I like it when it's easy. All right. Vin Diesel. He starred in other movies besides Fast and the Furious? <laughs> I've never seen any of them, so. Or at least anything other than the Fast and Furious. But then I stopped watching the Fast and Furious. I haven't watched the last several because the last one I did watch, there was so much CG and it was just so fake looking that I just couldn't get into the movie anymore. I'm like, there's no way a car can do that. Blah, blah, blah. I can't do it. <laughs> so uh this dvd sold for 550 all right we got this lonesome little palm tree on this hat sold for 950 we got one more package to go before we jump into the peasant mobile and get this stuff to the post office all right are you ready for a hat lot lot yeah all right i got two mystery hat lots and one person bought them both, and they both sold for $54. So I already got it nicely taped up. Two different boxes taped together to make one package. So I'm going to get the postage on this, and we're going to get to the Peasant Mobile. Welcome to the Peasant Mobile. We're on the way to the post office. And uh, hopefully I only have a few more months in the Peasant Mobile. Uh, what this originally started out as, this is a 2015, I think, Jeep Patriot. I uh, bought it, used 14,000 miles on it, but it was supposed to be my second car. My business car, my junk car, my Goodwill Benz car, if you will. Because I had ordered my Jeep Grand Cherokee Trackhawk at that time. <clears throat> so I bought this one as my secondary to trash vehicle, basically. Can you hear those squeaking? <laughs> but uh, then that's when all the Jan's health issues came upon us and then the tax issues. So we were literally in a financial situation where I could not get a new car. So I was stuck with my peasant mobile as my daily driver. Uh, when I bought this, it's bare bones. It's got heated seats, but that's about all it's got. Uh, I because I had gotten out of a Jeep Grand Cherokee uh, SRT8, so I had all the creature comforts, adaptive cruise control, all that good stuff. So when uh, this turned into my daily vehicle, I named it the Peasant Mobile because it has no creature comforts. Uh, my radio don't even work anymore in this thing. So uh, CD player, the whole radio is just out. There's it goes in and out. It's real weird. So. 
uh, it, yeah, it just doesn't work. So uh, hopefully only a few more months. And uh, hopefully the plan is that later this month is to uh, go and order my new car, which I'm gonna probably still 99.9% .9 sure I'm getting the Jeep Grand Cherokee. I mean the Jeep Grand Wagoneer Series 3 fully loaded as long as everything keeps going smooth with the business that will be my new car so uh yeah that's the story on the peasant mobile <laughs> the whole front end on this thing just squeaks now so i need to take it in and make sure uh it's safe because it's not sounding so safe anymore nowadays So we're on the way to the post office to drop off the stuff. And then I guess I will hit a QT and grab me a drink and get back to the house and get to listing. <laughs> so thankfully you're not too far from the post office, only like five minutes, probably less than five minutes technically, but if you don't hit no lights, as we come upon the diamond shaped intersection, This car has been paid off early for about a year now, so haven't had no issues there. And with the new car, the plan is um, the payment should be around $1,500 a month, but I'll be eliminating my uh, last loan, which I have the money, I just haven't paid it off because just in case, I like the security. So like I have the money in the account, but I haven't given it to the loan yet. So. When I say the business is debt free, that's why I say that, just because the money's there. I just haven't sent them the money yet. But uh, once I do that, that's $600 a month freed up. Uh, then I'm going to pull everything out of my, the, the storage unit that has the least amount of stuff in it and jam it somewhere. That'll free up $300. So that right there will free up $900 a month to go toward my car payment. They did not. Hopefully I can still get in up here. Um, and then anything I make on YouTube will be the extra bonus to go toward the car payment. Right now it's $200 a month. So I do appreciate all you guys' uh, support, likes, comments, and all that stuff because it helps me grow the channel and will help pay for the new vehicle. So, so what I do is I back up up here and take the stuff, drop it off in the back, and then I walk my scan farms up front and let them scan the forms up front to make sure they get scanned because two Christmases ago when they had all those issues nobody scanned my forms and I lost my 10% discount on eBay so that's like that was like $600 a month at that time so I lost it for like four months so that stunk so I definitely don't want to do that anymore so <laughs> oh my god the squeaking is so annoying oh my gosh I can't even trust, I, I don't even tr <laughs> trust this vehicle to like drive it long distances. There's just no way I would trust it. Oh, it feels, it sounds like it's, uh, it's trying to do like Morris code. It's like Morris code for help me put me out of my misery. <laughs> I'm broken. the light. Oh, damn it. <laughs> you should have ran it, man. All right. Hey, a cemetery. Units movable in port. Is that new? I've never heard of that one before. But then again, I haven't really been out of the house in two years. <laughs> what is all this green stuff over here? What's that blue thing up there? I always like the thought of like seeing the books of companies, like how their their expenses and how they're ran. This is one company I would love to see how the hell they do it. Weekends only. I mean, do they really make enough money? I mean, I guess they have to. And just like two days a week to pay that monthly bill on that big ass building. 
So they'd have to or they'd be out of business, but I'd like to see how they do it. I really, really would. I'm like, there's a thrift store right down there I haven't been to in a while. James, why don't you just go? I'm like, you know what? I really don't even have no urges to go to a thrift store. I got so much stuff at home that I could be working on. There'd be an hour taken out of my day that I could be listing stuff. Yup, yup, yup. Hit 57,800 miles. And here we are. I'm gonna go get the drink. My hands will be full, so we'll end this video here because Adrian wants a drink also. So thanks everybody for watching.